The screencast is for Lesson 11.3, the primary source reading for Lucy Larcom and the Lowell Mill. Before beginning the reading, you should have already reviewed how to work with primary sources, um, looking at the worksheet and the reading the primary sources worksheet as well. I've also included the Intro to Primary Sources slideshow to help review. To get it started, go ahead and hit the preview button, or the start button. Please examine the following portions of Lucy Larcom's autobiography about her time working in the mill at a young age. Lucy Larcom started working at the mill when she was around 11, and this is interesting to examine because this isn't far off from you guys' age, and this also tells us about the um, children that worked at this time. You should already know that it is illegal for anyone under the age of 14 to work, so this was different. Um, back in the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, many of these kids working jobs um, affected the fact that you can't get a job until you're older today. So please read the following portions of Lucy Larcom's autobiography about her time working in the mill at a young age. As you read, think about how Larcom adapted to the regulations of millwork. Context to the letters. Workers in Lowell, Massachusetts, textile mills were mostly young women. One of these young women was Lucy Larcom, who began working in the mills at 11. Later in her life, Larcom wrote about her years in Lowell. Below is an excerpt from her autobiography, A New England Girlhood. Here's our um, first passage. I went to my first day's work in the mill with a light heart. That means she was happy. The novelty, or newness, of this made it seem easy and it was really not hard just to change the bobbins. Bobbins are a cone, ho hold, a cone used to hold thread on a spinning frame, or even on a sewing machine, if you've seen that. On a spinning frame, frame every three quarters of an hour or so, with half a dozen other little girls who were doing the same thing. When I came back at night, the family began to pity, or feel sorry for, me for my long, tiresome day's work. But I laughed and said, why, it's nothing but fun. It's just like play. And while for a while it was only a new amusement, enjoyment, or source of entertainment, I liked it better than going to school and playing make-believe. And I was learning and making believe I was learning when I was not. There were a great deal of fun mixed with it as well. We were not occupied, which means busy, more than half the time. The intervals, or different parts of the day, were spent frolicking or playing happily around the spinning frames, teasing and talking to the older girls, or entertaining ourselves with games and stories in a corner, or exploring, with the overseers or bosses permission, the mysteries of the carding room, the dressing room, and the weaving room. So this passage here gives us a little information as to what Lucy felt when she first started working at this mill. Think about the emotions associated with this passage and answer the following question using complete sentences and details from the text. Show me that you've read it. So, how did Larkin feel about mill work at first? Express your answer using a complete sentence and detail from the reading. So take a look at this reading, see how she feels about going to the mill, give me examples from the text, Write your answer in complete sentences. When you're ready, click that next button, and we'll go to the next question. Question two. Please examine the following portions of Lucy Larcom's autobiography about her time working in a mill at a young age. As you read, think about how Larcom adapted to the regulations of millwork. Here's the context one more time. Workers in the Lowell, Massachusetts textile mills were mainly young women. One of these women was Lucy Larcom, who began working in the mills at the age of 11. Later in her life, Larcom wrote about her years in Lowell. Below is an excerpt from her autobiography, A New England Girlhood. After working in the mill for a while, Lucy did go back to school. When I took my next three months at the grammar school, or elementary school, everything there was changed, and I too was changed. The teachers were kind and thorough in their instruction, and my mind seemed to have been plowed, broken up, during that year of work. <clears throat> so that knowledge took root, or hold, in it easily. It was a great delight to me to study. At the end of the three months, the master, or principal, told me I was prepared for the high school. But alas, I could not go. The little money I could earn, one dollar a week, besides the price of my board or housing, was needed in the family, and I have to return to the mill. So how did Lucy feel about returning to school in this passage here? 
Did she end up staying at school? Please express your answer using complete sentences and information from the reading. So, please describe what happens to Lucy in this passage. When you're ready, write your answer using complete sentences. Move on to question three. In question three, we are examining the last section of our primary source reading, and I'm going to skip the first two paragraphs and start with context to this section. Doing the same kind of work again and again could become boring. These girls had one or two small jobs they had to do all day long, so things weren't exactly exciting at the mill. So many girls would paste reading materials up on the walls around them. The printed regulations or rules forbade or did not allow us to bring books to the mill, so I made my window seat into a small library of poetry pasting its side all over with newspaper clippings, or articles. Some of the girls could not believe that the Bible was meant to be counted among the forbidden or not allowed books. We all thought that the scriptures had a right to go wherever we went, and that if we needed them anywhere, it was at our work. I evaded, or avoided the law, by carrying some leaves or pages from a torn testament in my pocket. For this one, I'm asking you to tell me what strategy Lucy took to over to avoid or evade the mill rules of no books. Do you think the rule is fair that they weren't allowed to bring books in? Why or why not? Express your answer using details from the text as well as complete sentences. When you're ready, you're going to go to the last question. Question 4. In general, do you think that Larkham was pleased that she had worked in a mill? Explain your position and provide examples from the text to support it. So based on what we've learned and what you've just read, tell me what you think. Tell me whether or not Lucy Larkham was happy that she worked in a mill. Use details from the text to the best of your abilities. Hit that next button when you're ready. And make sure to hit submit all and finish. And you've finished today's activity. Great job.